everyone how are you all hope you are doing very well in the last lesson we have created this daily out for the checkout page but let's go ahead and make the our payment gateway which is stripe all right cool so the first of all i will go here and i will type in here cashier which is stripe i believe or stripe yeah, this one okay and last require this let's install this so this from laravel documentation uh, so this what you should use because laravel is recommended that you use this library and what i like about this library is up to date with stripe api so let's go ahead and install this and sure enough hopefully we will have it let's wait a little bit and here we go oh okay cool so we have it uh, let's continue and see what we have to do and uh, we do migrate please notice the users table we will do the migrate if we go here we can see that we have created blah, blah, more fields and more table will be added i believe so keep your eye on this please so we'll do migrate okay and sure enough yes so this is what will happen create custom columns and create subscription tables as well go back here and sure enough we have some a new structure over here so let's all right so cool now i believe we this optional and yeah so this is what we have and in the user we have to make it billable like this all right so we use this thread and let's include it yeah so we have imported and see what we have to do else yeah so the cashier model here let's go ahead and define this and define the stripe keys as well so let's go ahead here to the environment and see what we have we don't have stripe here which is cool okay so let's go ahead and make this so the model is user is not here so it's here okay in the app immediately and 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 go back to the documentation and let's grab these two your secret key and okay so how you you get this so this from the uh, stripe you go to stripe and you apply for an account and you will have they will give you the secret key and the public key so i will do this okay and you can go to google and stripe generate uh get keys okay something like this so here okay after you uh blah blah, blah register you go here and in your account in the main dashboard after you register sign in register receive an email blah 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 so it's easy don't forget yes so this is the public key and secret key and please paste the publishable key over here and in the stripe key and the secret is this bad boy here and that's it okay i will do it behind the scene because i don't want you to see the keys because i need them so i will do it behind the scene okay so uh, don't forget to do it as well okay so come back here so if we miss something else yes we can do the currency as well and yes we can do the currency so let's do the currency as well so where is the currency i believe so the currency i will do it gbp 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 like this okay and also i will logger i will use stack okay so any cashier um, uh, login from stripe will be logged to the stack okay to file called stack so i believe this has been mentioned as well all right cool so i believe we are ready to go okay we're ready to go now so we will use all of these okay create custom blah, blah, blah. but first of all let's do the laravel thing here let's make the form appear at least here so we know what will, will happen i will do this as well in the behind the scene copy and paste them uh, and i will come back in a moment okay okay so i paste and i copy and paste the key, secret key blah 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 and let's go ahead now as i mentioned to do some 
uh, magic in the uh, payment form so i will go ahead where should i start check out and we have left over over here where is the payment uh, if I can, yep, here so let's i will make more this nine i will make the, this three okay so this is the partition for the screen the div in the left and the right and i will make a new div here and i will give it a ref of card so what does this mean in the view js if we are use normal uh, HTML, we will do this. But in the few GS, I will give it ref, okay? So we and card, and we will access to this uh, shortly, okay? And that's it, yeah. So let's go ahead now and go to Stripe here, and I will define variable Stripe, and I will make it Stripe like this, okay? Over here, I have to post put the key okay i know i put it in the environment variable okay but i have to put it here as well okay so i will put the uh, the key here okay as well so but before this let me uh, grab the elements so elements okay stripe so this is from stripe documentation okay so it's nothing uh, new from my head or something so this all from the documentation of stripe all right cool so now let's go ahead now and try to create uh, so i will go here create the dom element all right what we have here is to load the card so the card is the reference okay and elements and create and i believe not this i i believe we have it in the dom as a card here okay and what we have to do is mount it and also we have to define the card in the data so we, we don't have it so here sorry okay return what do I want to return the card okay so I will save it here as well because we need it okay and then mount the this to okay, reference.card okay so yes cool so this special from the um, uh, laravel uh, sorry from the vgs and i want to access to the card and and i want to mount it so this the hold the dom here okay and this when i mount it okay i want to save it as well in the card here okay so this from the stripe documentation okay it's very it's, uh, nothing uh, special or something now i want to let's say i'm not sure if this is going to work so it's not uh, going to work let's see, see what we have the error this is not function so let's see what we have okay so mount so this should be mount not mounted okay and see if we fix it yep cool so we have it here which is cool i will define a new button here very quickly okay so 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 we have space for it here so we, we don't need to worry about it so what we call it success safe okay okay so i will save and i will give it some class of what button and button success all right cool so we have this now and let's make it a click here and prevent default if and submit payment method i will define this one because we don't have it okay and like this alert and blah blah, blah. cool so 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 let's see what we have cool so we have this here cool but let's give it style this one so i make some research on this bad boy here and i will make it some nice i will give it bootstrap class here which is form controller i believe control okay control and i will give it style as well height of uh, let's say height of 2.4 em em and i will give it as well padding of uh, top 
let's say of point seven EM. Yeah, so it's not big deal now. So let's see if we have something nice. Yeah, it's cool. So this is exactly what we want. Okay, very nice. Uh, don't forget that we will loot all the previous mid payment mid that uh, that he has, that the uh, customer he have it in the application uh, he used before. So we will show it. This is the power of the uh, stripe as well. So 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 what we have to do now is to do the and so here I want to first of all the first thing when we loot the mid we need to get stripe token as a security. Where we have to do it, okay, let's use use controller, I believe the best, we don't have use controller, but <laughs> okay, so let's call it very quickly, so PHP artisan, artisan, make controller, and controller, okay, what I want to call it, user controller, Controller. I hope we have spirits right. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Okay, cool. So we have, uh, we will have the user controller now. I will do. Let's wait it. Yes, yes. Come on, come on. One, two. Yep. So let's make as usual construct here, and let's use the middleware. Okay. And what is the middleware here? Is out. And let's. I will define function called get setup intent okay and this will return for us the intent which is the token take it as simple as this okay so this security layer from the thingy the um, stripe okay so create setup I believe intent okay so this from the Laravel uh, uh, documentation. So when we integrate the this thingy, the composer, he creates this method for us. So this will have the intent, okay? And yes, after we have the intent here, okay, let's do the ABI for it, which is uh, it's very simple and very straightforward, okay? So 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 where I have to put it here, like make this will come a little bit bigger controller and 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 route and what we call it route and get believe and let's call this users and maybe set up intent okay and so what we have here is user controller class and I want to what I want to do is to call this method. All right, cool. So this will bring us, but let's import this. And yes, yeah, so this will do the trick for us. So anyone call this, we will have the token over here. So let's see what we have to do next. Okay, so let's go ahead and load the intent here. So how we can do this? Okay, so I will create a new method here called intent and let's define it like this and like this and so let's load it i will uh, fire abi very quickly using axios and let's await this async await so so what we have is to call axios get and user okay the route that we just created and set up i believe set up intent okay without any parameter and this intent token i believe okay so this so this first uh, stripe okay so not defined here but this will uh, for stripe from stripe library okay so after we do this so what you're going to access is like this data which is over here okay so we get the token we uh, we reach this abi okay and please give us the token let's say okay it's more more than token but let's give it like this intent or something and yes yeah, so that's it we have it here where is it view and we have it with it so it's here so we will use this when we save 
uh, the payment method okay we'll submit the payment method as well okay so so let's go ahead and load the payment method that already the user has been submitted or and after this we will create put it in own component okay so we have five minutes to do this so let's go ahead and load payment methods or methods okay and here what we're going to do is to uh, get from the ABI okay response and this will be await okay okay and response equal to what to axios okay let's grab this very quickly and so let's make a route for get the um, payment method let's define here first of all what is the route will be so payment methods okay cool so let's define this route okay i have an error here so it should be a sync okay and yes this should the red thing will be goes away so don't worry about it yeah there we go so yeah. okay so let's make abi for it so where should i start yep whoop here and so let's make abi like this okay and i grab this here and let's go here and let's call this method get payment methods okay and and what we have here so let's go to the route again and i want to call this yeah so let's bring the uh, user as we know as we learned 100 times before so okay cool so we have the user now so let's uh, grab the um, the thing the meet payment method but let's define a new array here okay and so let's try to check if we get payment method so i will use for each here okay so this is the power of the library that we have already used payment payment methods okay and we have it like this and as a method okay cool so let's now try to push to array what i want to push is inside this array a new element okay which is contain some data which is the id payment id okay and let's define more and more and here we go so this will be brand brand so this all from the documentation of, of uh, stripe okay last four last like this and expire month and finally expired year and let's return this bad boy okay json and let's define let's grab it in method like i want to have uh, the methods okay like this okay cool so we have the methods here we will revisit this again in the future but brand id so last four and yes i believe that's it you know so it's expired year okay but here is strong we card like object not so this is the thing that always i make mistake i keep forget this so so yes so no card just id and the brand and last four okay like this last four brand expired month and expired year as well so yes yeah, cool so let's yes we're off of the time yeah so in the next session we will load call this api and we will load it in the screen and we see what the payment method that we have please like and subscribe and in the next few lesson we'll get more excited thank you bye